Harlem Shake is the number one song on Billboard this week, and it's all your fault, YouTube. This week, the Billboard Hot 100 took another step into the 21st century by finally counting YouTube views into its charting formula. And this isn't some fly-by-night move by Billboard, either. This has been in the planning stages for years. Bill Ward, Billboard's editorial director, told the New York Times, quote, The notion that a song has to sell in order to be a hit feels a little two or three years ago to me. The music business today, much to its credit, has started to learn that there are a lot of different ways a song can be a hit, and lots of different ways that the business can benefit from it being a hit. But the new YouTube stats don't count any old video that has a song playing in it to the overall number. The stats only collect data from the official videos, like the ones you see on Vivo's channel. Which, if you spent any time on YouTube, you'll know that for every Macklemore or Psy, you'll inadvertently get a Rebecca Black thrown into the mix. So use your newfound power wisely, YouTube audience, otherwise something like this could escape to broader top 40 airwaves. It's been a year and a half and I still don't know which seat she decided to take. In other related streaming news, Nielsen has too finally decided to catch up with the rest of us and will expand its television ratings to include streaming services. The change means data from places like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and even YouTube would be counted into the overall ratings report. The program has been in the piloting stages for a couple of months, but Nielsen plans on rolling it out to 23,000 Nielsen homes in September. And if you're scratching your head at the 23,000 number, you aren't alone. 23,000 households dictate what 314 million Americans typically watch on TV. It's probably why shows like Two and a Half Men stay on the air for what feels like centuries, while Arrested Development gets killed after three seasons. Oh well. Maybe all that's gonna change in May when Arrested Development finally returns to Netflix for a well-deserved fourth season. Well, yes, but I'm afraid I prematurely shot my wad on what was supposed to be a dry run, if you will, so now I'm I'm afraid I have something of a mess on my hands. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I just blew myself. <laughs> Do you feel like these changes to Billboard and Nielsen will alter what is popular, or will the same old songs and TV shows continue to rule the charts? Let me know down below. And don't forget to click that subscribe button, or else I'll start crying really well. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying there's always money in the banana stand. You didn't click the subscribe button. Why didn't you click it? Oh, you did. Awesome. Thank you.